Okay, we're given this parametric equation under the interval that t is in between of 1 and 4. And the idea is that suppose somebody is travel along this pathway. And of course, I can just show you guys with a graph, right? So let's do so. And to do that, I will just give you guys a little quick table, right? I'm just going to plug in 1 and 4. Of course, to get a better graph, you should plug in more points, but just let me do it with the endpoints. Anyway, both x and y are depending on t, so I'll put on t right here, and then we know x is equal to t squared plus 4t, and then plus 1. And then we have the y, y is equal to 3 times t minus 2. And as I said, I just want to plug the endpoints right here, like the 1 and the 4, the ending time, which is 1 and 4. All right, so the idea is that you just go ahead and plug in 1 into the t, so let's do this in your head. 1 squared is 1, plus 4 times 1 is 4, 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 1 is 6. And then plug in 1 in here, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2 is 1, all right? And then plug in 4 right here, 4 squared is 16, plus 4 times 4 is another 16. 16 plus 16 is 32, plus 1 is 33. 4 plug in here, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 minus 2 is 10, so just like this. All right, so just to give you guys a quick picture, this is how the pathway is going to look like. And by the way, if you have seen my previous video, you know the whole graph of this is going to be a sideway parabola, right? So like that. Open to the right, by the way. By the way, let me just show you guys. Remember, we have the x and y coordinates. So this is the x-axis, and here's the y-axis. And 6, 1, let me just say this is my 6, and this is my 1, all right? So this is my starting point right here. And then I have 33, 10. Let me say 33 is right here. Now draw the scale, of course. And this is my 10, so it looks like this. And if you just kind of grab it, you will have a curve like this. And most importantly, you should know it's traveling from here to here. This is our start, and this is the end, right? This is when t is equal to 1, and this is when t is equal to 4. This is the pathway. And now the question is, how can I write a parametric equation so that I can start right here and then go back to that. Well, this is the idea of traveling backwards, right? And this is how you can do it. It's actually pretty straightforward. So for the backwards equation, let me just write it down as this is how you travel backwards. First key, we still have to keep the time interval from 1 to 4. You cannot just say 4 is right here, 1 is right here, and turn the clock backwards. The computer, the calculator, they do not work like that, all right? So, for backwards, I will still have to keep t in between of 1 and 4. Whoops, t in between of 1 and 4, not t and t. <laughs> like this. And this is how we're going to do it. We still have this two original equation. You have to utilize that. But, first of all, look at the time interval. It is from 1 to 4. What you have to do first is, you are going to add the ending values together, the end and the start, all right? So you are going to add 1 and 4 together. So let me just put 1 plus 4 like this. And then minus, this minus is going to help you to turn the time backwards. Minus t. This right here, work this out, which is 5 minus t. And you have to plug in this into the original. And that will do it. So with that being said, this is how the new equation is going to look like. I still have the x equation and the y equation. For the x, you see, here I have my t. Well, I just have to plug in 5 minus t into my original t. So inside here, it will be 5 minus t. Let me just put down everything in red, and then square, and then plug in here as well. So plus 4 times 5 minus t. And then at the end, put on plus 1. And then for the y equation, this is going to be the same thing. We will have 3. When I see the t, I'll plug that into, I'll change that to 5 minus t. And then minus 2. That's pretty much it. And you don't have to impress me. You don't have to uh, simplify it. This is actually preferred because I can see how exactly you are ending up with these uh, equations, right? So this will do it, all right? This will do it. And then just to show you guys, why this will work. The best way is to show you with the table, just like that. 
So with that being said, once again, we have the t right here. This time, the x is that, right? So we have the x equation, which is 5 minus t. Let me just make the t in red like this. Square plus 4, 5 minus t. And then plus 1. And then we still have the y equation. y is equal to 3 times 5 minus t, and then minus 2. Remember, I still have to have t goes from 1 to 4. So first of all, my starting value is still 1. My end value is still 4. And of course, you have t is equal to 2, 3, 4, and then you know, decimal numbers as well. But you know, this will be good enough. Anyway, let's take a look right here. When you're plugging 1 into this t now, you do what? 5 minus 1 first, which is 4. And then you end up with 4 squared, isn't it? And then right here, you have to do plus 4. And then plugging 1 here, 5 minus 4 is 4. So you see, here you have the 4 squared plus 4 times 4 plus 1. This is the same as earlier, isn't it? So that's why you add the uh, starting and the end for the time. So you did. That's why we did 1 plus 4, and then you subtract the t. This is the new variable that you have to plug in into the original. Anyway, when you work this out, you end up with 33. Likewise, when you plug in 1 into this, you will see 5 minus 1 is 4. Once again, that's the reason why you add this and that together, so that when you plug in 1, you get back to the other number. And then just work this out, you get 10. And likewise, if you plug in 4, 5 minus 4 is what? It's 1. So you are talking about 1 square. And then plus 4 times 1, and then so on, right? And then just work this out, you get 6. I'm just looking at that number, and 1. So when you have this blue equation right here, you get to travel backwards. So I'll just do it like this for you guys. So this is the blue right here is the backwards, right? This is the. Right? Um, so I think I will erase this again. Let me just show you guys. So for the blue one, I will go from here to that. Make sure to do that. Anyway, this is it. This is what I want to uh, show you guys in this video. That's it.